Hey you guys, what's up and welcome back to the Smalletics channel. Today I thought it would be really, really fun to do a petite power workout together because I realized I don't think I've ever walked you guys through a petite power workout. By the way, in case you don't know, petite power is my 12 week transformation program for petite women. It includes fitness and nutrition and a team of coaches to help you along the way, as well as a badass community of other petite women who are you know, working towards the same goals as you. So I'm very excited, hold on, let me get my phone, to have two announcements for you. First of all, some of you guys know the wait list for Petite Power is really long. Um, there's over a thousand people on it and enrollment has been closed just because we've been full since March. But we are opening up the doors and they're open just for the next few days. If you wanna join or learn more, you can learn more in the description below. Um, but the really exciting announcement I have is that Petite Power is now an app and we now have an app for customers who are doing the program with us together. And today we're gonna to be using that app. I'm gonna show you what it looks like and I'm gonna take you through a total body circuit workout that you might find inside Petite Power. Okay, so all you need for this workout is a pair of dumbbells or you can use soup cans, whatever's in your house, and a resistance band, that's it. We're gonna do it in our living room. I'm wearing some shoes, you can do it barefoot as well. And it's gonna be a circuit. So we're gonna do exercises all in a row, rest at the end, and then we'll repeat the circuit. So all you have to do is follow along. And um, yeah, I'm so, so excited to do this. I can't believe I have not done a petite power workout with you guys before on my YouTube channel, but here we go, let's do it. Okay, you guys, we're gonna warm up together first. It's really important to warm up before you strength train or exercise. You're just gonna bring one knee into your chest. And something I love about um, the program is that it walks you through your warm up before every workout so that you're not just like left to wonder what you should be doing. Um, it also has full foam, foam rolling routines in it, which is great for warming up, but I'm not including that right now because some of you guys might not, not have foam rollers and then I don't want you to stop watching because you're like, I don't have a foam roller. So we're just bringing one knee up. We'll make it a quick warm up for this today. It's kind of toasty in here. Let's bring in a quad stretch, one hand up to the sky, come up on the tippy toe, switch sides. So we're getting triple extension here, the ankle, knee, and hips. Reaching up. It's okay if you lose your balance. This is a super casual workout today, just in my living room. Just getting something done, you know? Moving the body, feeling good. A couple more. Good, let's do some lunges. You're gonna step out, reach overhead, step back, and switch. Should feel a really good stretch in the front of your hips and leg. Start to wake up the breath. Make sure you're breathing through the movements. Also make sure you're getting a good range of motion here, bringing your knee down to the ground. Good. All right, let's move into some hamstring, hamstring, excuse, one foot out in front, the other knee is slightly bent. You're gonna reach down, hinge at the hips, flat back, and then reach up to the sky. So you should feel a nice stretch behind your leg, and then you'll switch sides. So you're just alternating sides. Scoop in the hamstrings, getting a nice stretch. <sighs> Using your breath. Oh man, this one feels so good. All right, last one. All right, let's move into some lateral lunges. We're just stepping out to the side, toes are facing the same direction. Let's just move back and forth because this feels good right now. And after the warm up, I'm just gonna run through the workout with you. You can follow me along. It's gonna be really fun. A lot of um, good mix of like strength training, some body weight, um, really to help you lean out, build muscle, feel strong in your body. Good, and then if you like, you can just Stretch your knees, your hips open if it's available to you on either side. Kind of just like to do what feels good too in a warm up and get things warmed up. And then let's just do some arm circles just to get the upper body a little bit mobilized. And forward. All right, let's get started. All right, so we're starting with bicep curls. We have 12 reps. Grab your weights and 
standing hip shoulder width apart, roll the shoulders back. You're just gonna curl up nice and slow and then go slower on the way down, okay? So in, exhale, on the way down, three, four, five, make sure those shoulders are rolled back, six, halfway there, seven, eight, nine, keep that belly button in, core nice and tight, 10, 11, I'm already sweating, 12. Good, moving on to the next exercise. All right, you guys, next up we have 15 pulse squats. So if you have a band, you can put it right above your knees. Make sure you don't put it on your knees, but above it. Okay, so we're gonna go into a squat position. Feet are shoulder width distance apart. You're gonna make sure that your toes are turned out and we're gonna come down into a squat, drive the knees out, and we're gonna pulse for 15, okay, you guys? Just 15 reps, you got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Squeeze those glutes, press those knees out, and three, two, one one stand and shake it out all right next up we have some jackknives single leg jackknives so come down with me to the floor on our backs before we get started here make sure that you bring the belly button into the spine rotate your pelvis close that gap between the lower your lower back and the floor okay one knee bent the other one out straight now from here make sure the shoulders are down away from the ears you can lift the shoulders slightly off the ground we're just going to be bringing one leg up and down okay two Exhale as you bring the leg up, four, five, neck nice and long, six, seven, eight, squeezing that four, we got four, three, two, and one. Knee down, lift the other leg, and here we go, we got one, two, exhale, three, press that lower back into the four, five, drop you guys, Six, seven, eight, last four right here. Exhale, three, two, and one. Good, and notice we're not taking a break between any of these exercises. This circuit is meant to be back-to-back -back exercises. We'll take a rest at the end. Okay, back to standing. We have some alternating forward lunges, eight on each leg. Grab your weights, roll the shoulders back, Back, bring the belly button to the spine, step out into a forward lunge and back. Alternating, alternating sides right here. Two, three, good. Four, five, keep that belly button in. Nice tight core. Make sure you're breathing. We're halfway there. Good job, you guys, keep it up. Last four reps. Press with that heel on the way up. In two, and one. Good, place dumbbells down. Okay, at this point, your heart rate should be elevated a little bit. We're moving into tricep dips. I'm gonna use my couch. If you have a couch or you know any type of object in your house, a bench, that works fine. We're doing 16 reps of tricep dips. You know, place your hands flat on your couch or bench, wherever you are feet come out straight. If this is too hard for you, you can bend the knees to modify, bring them in closer, okay? So here we go, we got 16, you're dipping low, and then back up, squeezing the triceps on the way up, straining the elbows all the way. Exhaling on the way up. Five, six, good job you guys. Seven, eight, we're halfway there. You got eight, seven, keep going. Six, five, Four, whew, three, feeling the burn, two, and one, and relax, but not for too long because we're still going. All right, you guys, we have three more exercises left in the circuit, and then we're gonna take a break, so don't break now. Grab your band if you have it and meet me on the floor. All right, we're coming into some glute bridges. So you're laying on the floor. Again, squeeze the belly button into the spine. We're pressing through the heels and squeezing the glutes at the top. Squeeze those butt cheeks together, that's one. I'm gonna hold for a second at the top, two, Three, we got 15 of these bad boys. Four, good job you guys. Five, squeeze those glutes. Six, seven, keep it up. Eight, over halfway there, really squeeze. Nine, drive those knees out actively. We got five, four, three, good job. 
two, and one, relax. Okay, second to last exercise. We have a squat to press overhead. So grab those weights and arms are by the side. You don't want them out all the way flaring and you don't want them in all the way. Somewhere in between our nice proper squat stands, toes turned out. We're gonna squat down, bend the knees out, stand and press overhead. Okay, that's one, two, exhale as you come up, three, four, good job you guys, five, six, seven, eight, you got it, last four, stay with it, three, two, and one, good, relax. All right, you guys, meet me on the floor. This is the last exercise in the circuit before you repeat the circuit. We're doing straight leg sit-ups. So you're gonna come down, laying arms out nice and long, feet out long. You're gonna bring the belly button into the spine and squeeze your core. And as you take an inhale, when you exhale, we're gonna sit up in three, two, one. Straight leg sit-up, sitting nice and tall, and then come down vertebrae by vertebrae. Two, we've got 20 of these, you guys, so get comfy, and when I say comfy, <laughs> kind of mean uncomfortable. There is some degree of working out. It doesn't always feel comfortable, right? But we're getting stronger. Pain is different. You don't want to be in pain, but discomfort is okay, especially when you're just getting started learning how to build muscle. Keep using that breath. Eight, almost halfway there. Nine, keep those shoulders down away from the ears. 10, I'm slowly shifting further and further up the rug, halfway there you guys. We got nine left, keep it up. Really focus on your core, squeezing that belly button in. Vertebrae by vertebrae on the way down. Last five right here, you got it. We got four, three, job, two, and one. All right, you guys, so I want you to grab some water right now, take a breather, even just put on a timer. You got one minute, and then I want you to go back to the very beginning of this video and repeat the circuit three to four times. If you're new to lifting weights, a total of three times, so two more times will be great. If you wanna get a little bit more of a workout in, you can do a total of four times, so go back and repeat it three times, and that will be your total body strength circuit workout for the day. All right, you guys, once you finished it, great job getting through the workout. I hope that you learned something new. I hope that you feel good, like you worked out. And like I said, we are taking new clients into the Petite Power Program starting well, last Saturday through this coming week. So make sure that if you're interested or you wanna learn more, that you get in touch with us. You can sign up below or you can send me an Instagram DM. I will definitely reply. And I want to help you as a petite woman learn how to increase your metabolism, lose fat, gain muscle, and, and do this all without decreasing your calories, right? I don't want you guys going on diets. I don't want you struggling with that. I want you to be eating lots of food, feeling good, feeling healthy in your skin, and shedding fat in your sleep. That is the goal. All right, you guys, I'm out of breath. <laughs> I only did one circuit so far. I'm gonna go finish the rest of the circuits, and I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you soon. Bye.